This video mainly introduces the two controllers we use for heating elements. First up is a smaller voltage regulator which is compatible with both 110 volt and 220 volt household electricity. If the voltage is 220 volts, the maximum electric power that can be connected is a heating element of 3 kilowatts. And if the voltage is 110 volts, the maximum electric power of the heating element can be 2 kilowatts. The knob, also known as a potentiometer, can adjust the output power from 0 to 100 percent. The output voltage can be seen on the display. This is an output plug. At the bottom of the box body, the two wiring terminals on the left are the input of the power supply and the two wiring terminals on the right are the output port for the element. The two screws on the left and the right can be used for grounding. This regulator has four screw holes on both sides so we can fix the regulator to the wall. For safety, you can also put it a housing for waterproofing. We connect two hot wires to these input terminals. The wire we use here has no ground wire, so it is not grounded. These two output terminals can be connected to the heating element. We use an incandescent lamp for demonstration. After installing, we can buckle the transparent case. The initial position of the knob is zero, so now the voltage display is zero, and the light is not on. Now we start to turn the knob. It is very bright at 75 voltage then. We can use this voltage regulator to adjust the output power of the heating element to control the temperature of vapor in distilling process. This large electric control box can control the power of the heating element and the maximum electric power of the heating element can be 5.5 kilowatts. What can be seen on the cover is a emitter, potentiometer, switch, and indicator light. Open the cover, you can see a circuit breaker, an 80 amp solid state relay. Below here is a wiring terminals. The power is input through the circuit breaker and then output to the heating element from the wiring at the bottom. This screw can be used here for the ground wire. What we need to pay attention to when wiring is to choose the correct size power cord according to the power of elements you have, which we have described in detail in this web page. Because the power of the light bulb is not high, what we use here is a wire for ordinary household appliance. Our wire does not have a ground wire inside. If it has a ground wire, it can be connected here. Then we connect the output to the bulb. After connecting the input and output, you can connect the power supply. We take the power directly from the socket. After connecting the power supply, we can see that the display on the top is not lit. Open the cover, pull the switch and it will light up. But now the light is still not on because the switch has not been turned on. And now we turn on the switch, and the display light is on. Turn the knob, and you can see the change of the brightness of the bulb. The power of the bulb is too small to reach the minimum display power for the emitter, so the current is still not displayed. This controller is also compatible with both 110V and 220V household electricity.